Aloha Gemini, so it's Kim Jilling with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your monthly reading for the month of July 2019. So for the people in the U.S., happy Independence Day. We celebrate this on the 4th of July. And in celebration of the U.S. Independence Day, I am offering something very special that I've never offered before. So stay tuned at the very end of this video for that bit of magic. And then also, if you are not patient, there is a link below that you can check that out as you're watching the video as well. So today we are going to be getting your theme for the month. That's sort of the overriding energy of this particular month. And then I'll be drawing some additional cards from my favorite deck. So we'll get some additional guidance there. And then I am going to focus on your health. So health can be physical, it can be mental, it can be emotional, it can be spiritual. So any or all of those things may come up as we look at the guidance from Archangel Raphael. Lastly, I have kind of a special treat because I am using a deck that is pretty new to me. It's called the Earth Magic Deck by Stephen Farmer. And I am just loving these cards. They're just really interesting, super beautiful, and lots of great messages. So I've drawn a card for you from this particular deck, and I'll share that at the very end of the reading. So if you're new to me and enjoy this channel, please subscribe. And then make sure that you hit the bell. So even if you're subscribed, make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notifications. I do videos every month for all of the zodiac signs, of course. That's what you're seeing now. And I also do Feng Shui Fridays. So these are quick tips every Friday. Really actionable, really easy uh, tips, short videos that share with you how to help raise the vibration of your physical space, so your home or your office, right? And the reason we want to do that is because that helps us speed up the law of attraction. It helps you attract the things that you want more quickly and easily. So we want our home space to be in the highest possible vibration to help us manifest or magnetize rather the things that we want to be, do, and have in our lives. It does work a bit like magic. It's really kind of cool. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Rock and roll. Your theme for this month is the King of Water. Water cards are all about the depth of emotion, so you might find yourself a little bit more emotional in this month of July. This particular card is all about opening your heart, right? Opening your heart, opening your mind to those around you. We want to be compassionate this month, right? This is something that's going to be important for you. It is good, going to be a good month to donate to charity or volunteer your time or that type of thing. Give, right? You're going to get some good advice this month also. You can trust this advice. It's trustworthy. It's wise, right? Um, really good energy around that. So that's your general theme for the month of July. Let's see what else we've got going for you. Oops, <laughs> I was only going to draw one. Guess I need a few more. Okay, so we've got a pretty good balance here. We've got the water card as your theme. We've got a change or shift card here and then earth and another change in shifts. So um, there's going to be, I feel like the beginning and the end of the month, you're going to have some um, sort of transitions or shifts or changes, or you're going to feel the energy changing or shifting is kind of what I'm getting around that. So let's give you a little bit more information about this. We've got the awakening card coming in for you. This is Archangel Gabrielle. When this card comes in, you might feel a bit like you're suspended. Like there's not movement, like you're just hanging there. And that's okay, it's temporary. 
It's a temporary standstill for you, right? And it's also a beautiful opportunity to look at things from a different perspective. So you can see she's hanging upside down in this card. That means you want to like look at things from a different angle, a different perspective, right? If you're always looking at squares, look for a triangle. If you're always looking for the circular, again, you know, triangle is going to be different for you. And um, it's important throughout this month of July, I think always, but particularly they're drawing your attention to this, is to really show up fully and authentically as yourself. That is going to be something that's going to help you during this month. Then we've got the two of earth coming in. Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be grounded here on earth. And this is a chaos card. So when we get tape two of earth, it's like you've got too much going on, too many balls in the air, too much happening, right? You need to make a decision. You need to cut out some things that are no longer serving you and consider being more playful, right? Consider bringing more playfulness into your life. Uh, that's going to be something that will serve you well this month. But main thing is to cut out those things that just are, it's too much. Like you've got too much and you can't keep all those balls in the air, nor do you want to, right? Like that's just a lot of energy. And then towards the end of the month is a beautiful opening. We've got the dreamer, Archangel Metatron. This is a beautiful portal that is opening for you. So this is an opportunity and it's going to close. So you've got to really take advantage of this opportunity in the month of July. It's time to take that leap of faith. It's time to follow your dreams, right? Big, beautiful energy around that. You're going to get some opportunities that are going to come in. And it, it's, you know, kind of you need to leap as those opportunities come in and take advantage of them. Love that. So good. All right. Let's see what's happening for your health this month. So again, health can be physical, of course, but it can also be mental health, emotional health or related to spiritual health for you. Okay, so we've got, for those cuspers, I think this came up for, um, oh, maybe not. I'm, I might be losing it. Might have come up for the Taurus people, I'm not sure. Anyway, consult a nutritionist. So this is um, something related to your diet. It's important to get that handled. And a nutritionist is going to be able to help you. Again, always when this guidance comes in, follow where you're being led. Follow your personal guidance. Like, is it somebody at your doctor's office? Is it a natural path? Like, follow the breadcrumbs, right, um, to the person that can help you. And listen to your intuition. So this is always going to be your go-to way to determine what the right path is for you and what the right person is. So listening to the intuition is going to guide you this month as it relates to your health. I do actually want to read the prayer for this because I think it's helpful. Dear Higher Self, thank you for speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways that I easily understand. Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to listen to my inner wisdom. Yes, 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 yes. And Archangel Raphael is also helping you with your relationships this month. Yay. So relationship health is coming in for you, and Archangel Raphael is going to help you with that. And I feel like this relates to communication, that you, you know, to help you get on the same page, to help you communicate better, um, that's all going to be really good for you this month. So now for the special extra card that we have. This is from the Earth Magic deck. And the card is Green Man. This is all about synergy. So what is synergy? 
Synergy is that connection that flows. So it's a um, very much about cooperation, connection. It's not doing it on your own, but it is a state of flow. So I do feel like synergy is a state of flow for you. And that, this is something where it's a powerful energy that you're going to be experiencing this month. Really, really great. I do want to share a little bit from um, the guidebook because this is a newer deck for me. So I don't, I'm not super familiar with these cards. So I want to share a little bit from there. Um, this green man is often a symbol of rebirth. So you may be going through some sort of rebirth, um, you know, again, maybe recreating your life. Um, it's also this energy of producing from two pieces, right? So producing from two or more elements, something that's greater than those elements. That's part of the synergy piece of things. Um, you got this advantage right now. So take a full advantage of the synergistic energy because everything's going to really just seem to fall into place for you this month and it's also synergy between your spiritual awareness and your ego so it's like they're actually communicating really well together this month yay we love that communication between our ego and our spiritual self is very very good like that a lot and it's interesting because there is a lot of green obviously with the healing cards that's going to be green but you've got the earth and then you also have this green man energy so very earthy energy i feel like for you for this month if you are looking to set yourself up for success in 2020 I would love for you to join me on Maui. I'm doing an amazing, incredible retreat here on Maui in November, the 9th through the 15th. You'll be spending a whole week with the angels and with me, exploring the island, exploring your emotions, setting yourself up for success, reminding yourself of the fun that there is to be had in your life. If you're not certain if it's right for you, feel free to reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. I will draw a couple cards for you if you're considering coming to the retreat. And we'll see what spirit guidance is for you around that. I've got all of the details below. And then if you're not able to come to Maui, which I understand that everyone can, I do have a soul GPS session available that is like a mini retreat. And that also will get you set up for success. Um, I do it typically in 90 day increments. So you'll be setting your um, creation plan for the next 90 days. It's a super powerful process. Stay tuned for the next video that's gonna give you some information on how you can save on that Soul GPS session. Much love and aloha to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji again, and I am excited to share with you a super special that I'm offering for the month of July. July 4th, as many of you know, is the day that we celebrate in the U.S. our independence. It's our Independence Day, and in honor of the 4th of July, I am offering a $22 discount on all of my services. So any service that I offer, that would be angel readings, feng shui consultations, space clearing, um, uh, coaching, uh, private coaching, this would be for single sessions, uh, any of those type of things, I am offering a $22 discount. And this code that you will use for that, the coupon code is USA, so pretty simple. It will run through the end of July. So if you've been aching to work with me or been feeling guided to work with me, now would be a great opportunity to try a service, right? Try it out, check it out. Um, space clearings, uh, again, are a great thing that I do. The feng shui, angel readings, all of that is very, very fun. I'm also offering the same coupon code. It's going to be a different code, but the same discount I am offering for gift certificates for angel readings 
and space clearings. And I believe I have a couple coaching options there as well. The coupon code that you can use for that is USA1. USA1 for gift certificates, USA for your own personal appointments. And I will put a link to all of those below. Happy 4th of July, happy independence for those of us in the USA. Much love and aloha. What I would love for you to do right now is head on over to my website, findingyourfiji.com. Fiji is spelled F-I-J-I, and you can grab your free gift over there. That is my nine fast feng shui fixes to attract abundance. These are my nine best tips related to the wealth area. And this will also allow us to stay in touch. I'd really like to stay in touch with you, get to know you, and that allows me to understand how I may continue to serve you. So we'll see you on the next video. Have an amazing, amazing day. Much love and aloha.